Hey Sagittarius, welcome guys. So we have uh, we have the Wisdom Oracle deck today. This is what I felt drawn to when I thought of Sagittarius as well as the Rider deck. So we'll get started. I want to know what's going on in Sagittarius's life. So if the universe can can help me out with these Oracle cards with the Rider deck, I want to know what's going on with Sagittarius. What energies are they dealing with? We have Loyal Heart here. So we might be speaking about two different energies in this read. And this could be uh, perhaps somebody in in a romantic relationship or seeking somebody for a romantic relationship. This could also represent just somebody that you're close to as well, guys. And we do have all that glitters too. It's like this goal that somebody is reaching towards. And not for you. Hmm. That not for you card, to me that card represents the universe blessing us with things that it doesn't give us. I do see masks in that, all that glitters. It's like something false. Something false. Like maybe Sagittarius was protected from something that wasn't what they thought it was. Somebody may be pretending to be a loyal heart wearing a mask. And this is why perhaps this relationship didn't work out. Is that this person was false and it wasn't meant to be. And it was the universe's way of protecting, protecting Sagittarius from this. Unfinished symphony. It's like unfinished business, something left unsaid. Perhaps no closure or needing closure. Clean it up. Clean it up is about purging what no longer serves you. It might be speaking to emotions in this case, guys. Emotions that go along with whatever the situation was. Something that didn't work out the way that somebody hoped that it would. And milk and honey. So milk and honey represents abundance. When I look at milk and honey, the distinct impression that I get from this card is like somebody's moving into this, this period of abundance. A message in a bottle. A message in a bottle is tied to milk and honey. I look at this card, I get pulled over here. A message in a bottle does represent some sort of news on the way, some sort of opportunity, something coming to fruition or something coming about. It's something that's going to bring milk and honey. And if this hadn't happened, Sagittarius would still have this, this spot in their life occupied by whatever the all that glitters represents and they wouldn't be able to be open to this milk and honey and this is why this had to come to an end because this is not the milk and honey this is not the positive thing this is not what they really want and it was just taking up space uh, where it didn't belong it didn't fit we do have to the sea and to the sea uh, it represents you have uncharted waters also a need to go with the flow and to trust that you can navigate whatever obstacles come your way. So it's about letting go of fear as well as that trust. And by the book. Interesting. See, following a path in that by the book. You're following a path. It's part of this, everything happens for a reason, is the distinct impression that I get from this card. Which is not necessarily what it represents most of the time. But I see path, I keep seeing path in it, like following a path. So we have the two of cups here. So the Two of Cups is a lot like that loyal heart. It's that relationship. It's looking for that connection. Wanting that deep connection. Finding that deep connection possibly. 
Queen of Cups, processing emotions. This is part of the Clean It Up card and being able to sort of um, process the emotions that came from this not for you. Swift commute. Okay. I was, I was starting to wonder with the by the book card. I'm going to throw it out there and you guys might laugh at me and it might only apply to, to one or two people here. I, I kept getting this impression of like online dating too. And then this Eight of Wands represents this swift communication coming. And it can sometimes come from a distance. And this might be this message in a bottle. And maybe somebody is going to be communicating with somebody new in their life. And it might be, it might be from online. Why do I keep getting the impression that it's like online? I've never gotten that impression from the cards before, but like online, it keeps coming into my mind. It's like, I have to say this word out loud, online. This is part of where this communication is coming from. An offering. An offering, an emotional offering. Being open to an emotional offering, being open to an opportunity that's coming. Where you're going to be receiving a message. Who is this though? Who is this message coming from? What is this all about? Is this from, is this from our not from, for you? Is this from our, our not loyal heart? Is this somebody new? Who is this message coming from? You have the six of swords. This recognition and reward. This being recognized as many suitors, many suitors, having many offerings, having many people recognize Sagittarius during this time, an abundant harvest. I, I keep being like many from these cards, like many offerings, many messages, like many options out there. The Nine of Wands, it tends to represent a journey over time. This is so odd. I never get this from the cards. I see the word suitors. Like having having many suitors, having many options. Why do I keep seeing this for Sagittarius? Having many suitors, having many options. Oh, that one did not want to play ball. And I don't think these ones did either. These all belong to you. That's who Sagittarius is. Or this Nine of Pentacles. Maybe don't feel like this Nine of Pentacles. And maybe that's what all of this represents. And the clean it up. Letting go of fears, doubts, and insecurities that came along from this past situation. Where you maybe felt like you weren't desirable. You maybe felt like... You are going to have a hard time finding someone to love you or finding this two of cups connection that you're looking for. But this is how people view you. It's like this beautiful, successful, independent unit who's very attractive. Queen of Wands, you're very attractive. You're going to be attracting a lot of attention. Attracting suitors. I keep getting suitors, many suitors. And the Four of Swords in Reverse. So the Four of Swords, it does represent taking that time to heal. To look after yourself. As, this is part of your clean it up. And being able to let go of insecurities. Making sure that you're doing this. This work to be able to, to heal and open this space in your heart for these new offerings that are going to be coming your way. The Nine of Cups. I just keep getting that like many suitors like it, it represents wish fulfillment but I just see all these cups like all these options all these emotional offerings the page of wands uh, this is part of what was left behind this page of wands I don't know if this person still keeps an eye on what you're doing 
or if they're gonna find out that you got all these suitors or whatever, but it's gonna make them feel very small and like what they had to offer was nothing. I think it's it's also gonna show you that what this person had to offer was nothing as well. This person was no loss having them walk away. There, you have so many other options, so many better options in these cards I see. King of Cups. They were emotionally immature too. They couldn't handle like an, an adult emotional relationship, whoever this was. They might have been uh, manipulative as well. And this might have been uh, part of where some of the insecurities are coming from that, that we need to shake and let go of. And King of Wands in reverse. This person wanted to be attractive. This person wanted to be a leader. They wanted to be desirable. That's not really who they were. Like they didn't really have it all together. They weren't they weren't this great catch. But they wanted to feel like they were and that's why they that's what what the manipulation was all about. It's like they knew they knew that Sagittarius was attractive. They knew that Sagittarius was this beautiful figure and this is how people viewed Sag. And and so they knew that if Sagittarius could see them for actually what they truly were, you'd be, you'd be freaking gone. You'd be like, see you later. You ditch them. And so that's where the manipulation came from. It's like you were way out of their league. And they wanted to keep you. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about these options, more about these suitors. What's coming along for Sagittarius here? I want to know all about this. There we go. Queen of Pentacles. Success. Success. Confidence is coming your way. The Seven of Swords is about lies, but it's like realizing that things were lies, realizing that whatever this King of Cups was telling you that was making you feel shitty about yourself, it was all lies. This is part of your clean it up. This is part of seeing you, seeing you who you truly are and being confident and, and embracing who you truly are and loving yourself and seeing that you are a good person. You are a good catch. You are desirable. Finding clarity. Finding clarity and uncovering truths, truths about yourself that allow you to move forward. So you're going to have your pick of the litter too. You're going to have a hell of a time deciding between all of these suitors that are coming forward. And that eight of swords is part of the clean it up too. Not feeling that way anymore. Not feeling trapped in, in lies. Not feeling like the wool is pulled over your eyes. Uh, like stuck in what somebody's telling you. All the BS. Being able to, to find your clarity and move beyond that. And the tower card. That's what it represented. The ending of this all that glitters. Recognizing that this person was not all that glittered. Hierophant. That higher learning. That higher understanding. And the page of cups that emotional offering oh i wonder if they aren't going to come back and try and make another offering but they just look like a silly little page now like whatever they have to offer isn't is not worth it it's not worth anything and maybe it's once they see how desirable you are and they see how many options you have it's going to like trigger something in them and they're going to want to come back. But they just, they just have this tiny little cup. They don't have anything to offer you. They're not this king of wands like they like to pretend or like they wish they were. They're just a page. And the knight of cups, the knight of cups is what's coming your way. This is the good one. He represents emotional victory. This is the good one that's coming your way. He's going to be in one of the options that you're getting. One of these suitors is your Knight of Cups. He's somebody who's emotionally supportive. He's somebody who you can build an emotional connection with. He's somebody who's who's more emotionally mature. 
He might not be a king, but he's enough that he can give you what you need and that you can build with. This is who's coming your way. There's a Knight of Cups coming your way, guys. Alrighty, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the read and have a great rest of your day. Take care.